the next nakshatra is called Uttara Ashada, which means later victory. So after we water those seeds with love, devotion, and attention, that's the early victory comes from that. Then the later victory is Uttar Ashada. Now that's from 2640 of Sagittarius until 959 of Capricorn. So it's where Sagittarius becomes Capricorn, where the hope of Sagittarius, where we've uprooted, planted new seeds that give us hope, then we've, wor then we've watered and nurtured those seeds in Purva Ashada. Now, in order for that later victory or the tangible victory, the guaranteed result, Uttar Ashada means guaranteed victory, then you know, that's from Sagittarius to Capricorn, because Capricorn is solid earth. Earth, what happens, the result. So fire becoming earth, the abstract concept of hope, and that principle of Sagittarius becoming the tangible results, the commitments of Capricorn, is what Uttar Ashada symbolizes. So taking that devotion and that love and care that we gave the seed in Purva Ashada, it now becomes the later victory, the guaranteed result is shown in Uttar Ashada. And the deities are called the Vishwadevas, which are the universal gods. There are ten of them. Some of the more recognizable ones are Karma, which is action, Kala, which is time, Dharma, which is truth, Kama, which is desire. So however much we're utilizing these Vishwadevas, these universal principles, that's showing the Guaranteed, that's guaranteeing our results. The early result, remember, was simple. It was just love. It was the ocean. It was love. We give love to something in its early stages. That's what nurtures the seed at first. But then after that, we need to make a commitment to going back and making, you know, bringing in desire. We need the desire for the thing to grow. We need to keep doing it over and over again, which is kala, which is time. We need to keep performing the right actions, which is karma, and aligned with truth, which is dharma. So however much we're in step with these Vishwadevas, with these universal principles, that's guaranteeing the result that comes. And it doesn't necessarily guarantee a good result. It's just showing that the results in our life come from our sense of principle and purpose about it, how well we nurture that, and then how much commitment, time, and effort we put into it later. So this is a metaphor for how all things grow. First we plant the, first we uproot the previous thing, then we plant the seed in mullah, then we nurture it in Purva Ashada, then we make a commitment to it through time, action, desire, <coughs> truth, in Uttar Ashada, which guarantees the victory, and turns it from an abstraction, which is Sagittarius, into a tangible form, which is Capricorn, that becomes subject to time, space, causation, and form that we then make a commitment to, which is all big Capricorn stuff. So Uttar Ashada is very powerful in this way of bringing Sagittarius and the abstract qualities of hope and meaning into the tangible form of, of the world and something that becomes a structure in our life. Um, Uttar Ashada, guaranteed victory, later victory, ruled by the Vishwadevas, the universal gods, the universal forces in life.